Us French learners are constantly messing up how to express a change in state of something, i.e. how something causes something else to become something else. The problem comes from the fact that in English we often use the verb make, so when we're trying to translate this in French, we choose the best direct translation of the verb make, which is faire. Unfortunately, there are a lot of meanings for both make and faire. So by the end of this video, not only are you going to use the correct verb to use in this case, but you're also going to have a few handy ways of using faire when it means make. So let's get started. Salut tout le monde and welcome back to a new video. So I'm going to dive right in and give you the verb which solves all our problems here. Instead of using faire, we're going to use rendre, rendre. Now it has many meanings, rendre, just like faire does, but in this case it means to change something. Or if you just look at it carefully, it looks a little bit like a similar English verb that we don't use so much anymore, which is render, render. You see, just switch like the R and the E at the end of the word around and you get render. Now keep this in mind because this will help you understand how to use it in some of these very useful situations. The first example would be to say how something is making a decision difficult. It's changing the decision state from whatever it was initially to being difficult. We don't say ça fait la décision difficile or ça fait difficile la décision. We say ça rend la décision difficile ou ça rend difficile la décision. And if you think about it in terms of render, it really helps to uh, get it stuck in your head to use rendre instead of faire. So let's look at it. That renders the decision difficult. Ça rend la décision difficile. Another example to look at is you drive me crazy. You drive me crazy. Now in French, I can tell you it's pretty obvious we don't use conduire, the direct translation of drive. So you have to think about it in terms of uh, another verb in English. So you'd maybe say you make me crazy. You make me crazy. So again, because it's an adjective we're going to use here, crazy, in French is fou, and it's a change of state, so perhaps you were quite chill before, and then this person winds you up, drives you crazy. We say, tu me rends fou, tu me rends fou. Or if you're a female, you can say, tu me rends folle, tu me rends folle. You don't say, tu me fais fou, or folle, always rend because you're changing the state of something. And when we're talking about change of state, there's always an adjective involved, whether it be directly after the verb rendre or after a noun. So we had la décision in the first example. La décision devient difficile. The decision becomes difficult. Or in the second example of tu me rends fou. The Adjective comes directly after the verb because in this case we've got the object of the sentence coming in the form of a pronoun before the verb. But don't worry about that too much. I want you to focus on choosing rendre over faire. So a quick sum up at this point. You've got two ways to remember how to use rendre instead of faire. The first one is it is incredibly similar to render in English. And in English we would use render to talk about changing of states. And the second one is to remember there's always the presence of an adjective, whether it be fou, like we saw in the second example, or difficile, like we saw in the first example. Adjectives symbolize a change of state. Ensuite, I said we would cover a few use cases of the verb faire, because faire does indeed mean to make. And you can use it to express the fact that someone or something causes something. However, instead of causing a change of state, it causes something else to happen. So often you will have faire followed by another infinitive or the infinitive of a verb. Let's have a look at one example, which is tu me fais perdre du temps. Tu me fais perdre du temps. That means you waste my time. You make me lose time. If we look at it uh, logically, bit by bit. If I waste my own time, I say, je perds du temps, je perds du temps. Literally, it's I lose time, I lose time. But if you are the cause of someone else wasting time, you say, 
Je te fais perdre du temps. Je te fais perdre du temps. I waste your time. Another example is ça fait plaisir or ça me fait plaisir. Ça fait plaisir. And it means that makes me happy. That's enjoyable for me. Ça me fait plaisir. So I said before that it's faire often followed by an infinitive, but here we have faire followed by a noun. Plaisir is a noun. Ça fait plaisir. That makes pleasure for me. Ça fait plaisir. And a final example with a verb following faire is ça me fait pleurer. Ça me fait pleurer. Perhaps you watched a film and it made you cry. You could say ça m'a fait pleurer. Ça m'a fait pleurer in the passé composé past tense. It made me cry. That one is a lot easier to understand because it literally translates from English. That made me, m'a fait pleurer. Pleurer, cry. So to sum up everything, if you want to talk about something causing a state change of something else, so the subject causing a change of state in the object, if we want to talk grammatically, then we need to use rendre, rendre, not faire. Remember that by thinking about the English verb to render, and also the fact that there is always an adjective involved. And if we want to talk about something or someone making something else happen, we use faire followed by the infinitive of another verb. And lastly, you can use faire plus a noun, like ça me fait plaisir. Ça me fait plaisir. If you haven't seen it already, I've made a video on lots of common uses of the expression ça fait. So click up here in the top right hand corner to go and check it out. C'est fini, c'est tout pour cette vidéo euh, tout le monde. J'espère que ça vous a plu. Sinon, dites-moi dans les commentaires euh, ce que vous voulez euh, voir dans une prochaine vidéo. If you enjoyed it, however, please click the thumbs up button down below. Consider subscribing by clicking on that big red subscribe button under the video if you haven't already. It really helps the channel grow. And of course, if you know anyone who would find this content useful, please share it with them by all means. But until next time, guys, cette vidéo m'a rendu trop fatigué. Je vais faire une sieste. À la prochaine. Ciao.